Yo, what is going on guys? It's Crypto TMG. You guys know what time it is. It's time for me to drop the setup that I used for the race yesterday around Zambo in the AOR League race, which was an hour long. And uh, yeah, certain things I did change. I thought in the, in the most part, the setup was pretty good, but because of the fact tire pressures are such a big deal around here and I did sustain a little bit of damage, um, I probably didn't get all of what I could out of this setup and definitely struggled around the slobber corners but this was my best lap i did during the race which was a 35 6 i believe but i, I definitely think i could have got towards a low 35 had i just had the correct tire presses the whole time man this was sort of early on in the race as well once i had already pitted because you know how example is you can get stuck behind people but you know lessons learned it's always tricky to have a race around Zambo. that curb we just went over is one of the reasons why you really do struggle with tire pressures in this, on this track. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll set the car up for you guys, show you what I was actually running and made the tiny adjustments that I feel like needed to be made to uh, just help you get through the race today. Um, that's if you are racing today in the AOR um, PS4 or in AOR Tier 2 on PC, man. So, um, yeah. Again, with that curb as well, something that you kind of want to try and stay away from a little bit. The trick, I believe, is, is early on, in the stint when your tires are fresh try to limit the amount that you use the curb that i think is the key to not losing too much tire pressures but again it's something that most people are going to be going through so again guys i'll be uh dropping the setup so i hope you guys do enjoy the video let's get stuck into the setup man so guys this is what i this is the changes that i've um subtly made and my, i think my pressures were a little bit low um and maybe because of you know you have to take this with a pinch of salt in terms of tire pressures you may need to figure out tire pressures yourself because for me when i'm stuck in a you know how many cars on track yesterday it must have been around uh maybe like 30 so when you're stuck in a mid pack and as i tried to explain after the race yesterday um when you're stuck in a pack behind cars you tend not to be able to get your tires up to the same temperature and pressure that you would if you were running in free air when you actually made your setup so you're probably going to be driving a little bit slower which is going to cause your tire pressures to stay a little bit lower and therefore you're going to be in more danger when you do hit the curb of getting that unfortunate punch up so i did i slightly went up on the tire pressures for the left hand side tires and the right but what i would probably suggest is you might want to do what i've done here i've actually slightly over inflated the right hand side tires because they are the ones that really take a hammer in and unless you're gonna completely avoid curbs on the right hand side you're probably gonna lose pressure on your right hand side tire so i've actually overflated the right hand side tires so let's just be clear on that but hopefully you guys get to test it before the race let me catch you see i went minus again with the rear toe and that's just to get the car really turning in through that mid sector so quick the only thing you know that maybe you guys might want to change if you don't want to have the uh the rear toe so rearwards or minus should i say you could put this back to zero zero but the reason why i have my toe and i'm able to get away with it like that is because if we quickly quickly jump over to the aero i'm actually running 56 on the front which means um you know the front of the car doesn't turn in as much so it's not as pitch sensitive um with running the, the toe on minus so bear that in mind some people might want to run the front right eye flat to the ground i wanted a little bit of clearance over the curbs so um yeah it's up to you guys to try but let's get back to the electronics i ran free free again a lot of this is going to be personal preference but as i've said before um i wouldn't I wouldn't go higher than three on the TC on the Bentley. I just feel you lose a lot of time. Um, 96 liters is the, the max you will need. Um, these, were the, these were the pressures before, by the way. These were the pressures I was using before. Just to let you guys know. I kept this here in the, in the, um, in the pit strategy just so you could see what pressures I was using before. Okay. But um, again, this is something that you're going to have to decide. And when you test for yourself, you're going to have to decide what tire pressures you want to go with. I would still overflate the tires on the right hand side because they just take a battering in the end. But 96 litres is fine. Um, again, the rest of the setup, I mean, it's quite similar to what I, I made a previous video, a hot lap video some months ago. It's quite similar to, to that setup, the rest of the setup. In a sense, I think I went up on the bump stop range a little bit as well. 
just so it's not too unbalanced when we do hit a curb. The, the problem was when I was hitting the curbs is I couldn't really feel them. It wasn't really unsettling the car, but it was just taking pressure out of the tires. And I don't know why it's so harsh around this track, but that is the case. Now I put the anti-roll bar up on the, on the rear for the tight corners and that was to stop the over rotation. But when your tires do start to wear, it becomes a little bit tricky to actually, you know, hit the apexes and get the car into the corner, which is another problem with having the ride height not on minimum, the front ride height on minimum. So you can play around with that. I guess some of this will be personal preference. Um, you're gonna have to see how you feel about that one. But um, for me, I kind of, I knew with having my toe on minus that I was gonna be getting quite a lot of rotation and I didn't want to uh, start sliding into all the tight corners because it's quite easy to bin it once you start doing that. Um, dampers, I think I changed from what I, previously had um, I went a little bit softer with the dampers but I feel like they were they were pretty cool so those are the dampers that I used and again let's go back onto the aero side of things I actually went up on the rear wing I was running eight originally but the Bentley's got plenty of straight line speed around here plenty now you can see quite importantly on the brake ducts they're pretty open and that is because it's actually a it's actually a very very hard circuit on brakes man and if, you're, if your brake ducts are just too closed, your brakes overheat, and then when you come into the tight corners, you just cannot slow down, man. So, yeah, that's another one, guys. I um, hope you guys do enjoy the setup, man. I've, <laughs> I think I've been bringing these thick and fast. Actually, let me check, because I believe this race has a, a chance of being wet, does it? Um, I think I made a damp race setup as well, which was a little bit different. Again, tire pressures, you guys are going to have to you know, uh, you know, you're gonna have to choose your own tire pressures just in case the amount of rain on the circuit was different from what I experienced. But like this was the damp setup that I did. I think I, I altered quite a lot. Um, depending on how heavy the the rain is or whatever, you may want to change your traction or your ABS settings. But I've left mine on three four. Um, this must have been a quality run. But brake ducts on two. I'll switch them to two, obviously, as well, for your pit stop. And then fuel, you probably won't need 96, but hey, I'll, I'll take 96 anyway, because that's what I've put into the, the fuel calculator. Um, mechanical grip, you can see I've made it a lot softer at the front, and the Bentley really does struggle with rotation, so um, the wheel rate at the rear is quite, quite stiff. Helps to get the car rotated. You can see our brake bias is all the way um, towards the rear dampers i've kept similar maybe a little softer at the rear um and then let's go on to the aero again with the nine you can see now i've put the front to minimum because most of the time in the wet you're not trying to use the curb so i i thought it's more applicable to put the the right front ride height to minimum you're going to be avoiding curbs anyway and now you're going to get that extra turn in so yeah that's the damp setup that i use so if you guys have a unlucky and have a wet race then this is what i used if it was going to be a damp race so yeah guys hope you do enjoy the setup um yeah the only thing i would change from this is maybe go up on the front brake ducts if it is wet or not you still want your you still don't want your tires to overheat anyway guys i hope you do enjoy the video cryptic tng like and subscribe hit that notification bell and make sure you join the discord if you're new man let's 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 get this bro anyway guys peace